Hi guys, Coco Parani here. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the Honey family. And if you are a returning hunty, yes, hunty, you are that hunty. Okay, that, that's a sucky. That's just a sucky intro. I'm not gonna put that. I refuse. Maybe I'll put that because maybe it's one of my options. <laughs> guys, can you tell by my tone how chilled i am i'm so chilled i'm relaxed i know i don't have makeup on i just have like my eyebrows done because i have like two lines for eyebrows so yeah i know i look tired and stuff because yes it's been a long as two months of my life Anyway, I, I want to do a makeup look that is very Bonang Mateba inspired. It's pretty simple. I'll be using the Avon palette, True Color Mocha Latte. And the color, ooh, the number, yeah, 6411. Okay, um, this is one of my favorite palettes because it is it's quite straight to the point. It's something that I'll probably take like out. I love this palette because it's four colors straight to the point literally the corner of the eye this is the base this has to be the inner corner of the eye and this has to be the um, eyeball itself I would carry this type of palette in my bag in my handbag in my back pocket in my side pocket in my jeans I'm kidding no maybe yes maybe I would for touch-ups because I'm that kind of person but <laughs> I'll be using this Avon palette, one of my favorites so far, London Concealer. Remember that Rimmel London that I used in the previous video? And I was like, oh my gosh, what kind of pale is this? Yes, we're using that Rimmel London, but we're going to use that for our eye. I finally figured out how I can use it. I can use it on my eye, but like as a base. I've been up to courses, guys. I am tired of washing my eyebrows off. Really? I just want to wake up and just play. I hope you guys are at peace as well. Start off with our concealer, guys. Well, I, um, I just washed my face. Really, I look tired because, yeah. I've been working tirelessly all night. Literally, I have five, five more courses I have to complete. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to put concealer. Um... Just on my eye, yo, but like not a lot. Um, the trick of using this thing. Oof. My ear is ringing. It's like a fading ring. It's like ding. Okay. The trick that I figured out of using this Rimmel London concealer is not actually putting a lot of it. Um, that type of person, like when I test the product, I tend to just draw it all over my face. Put like a little bit on my eye. Um, you can say this is like the most natural, the quickest eyeshadow look you can do because it's not really much really it's pretty easy it's straight to the point I'm using this brush that I got off at Clix mm -hmm. it's a very fluffy brush um, 100 bucks or 90 bucks but I got it like years ago so go to Clix and you you'll see it it comes in like a packaging of one and it is a blending brush it's one of my favorites concealer um mind you i'm using the golden beige by rimmel london 105 so we're going to be taking our fluffy brush that we got from clicks for 100 bucks 90 to 100 bucks and we're going to go back into the eyeshadow palette 
today we'll be using the Avon True Color Mocha Latte Palette. One of my favorites you can have in your handbag and it's a beginner friendly eyeshadow palette. It has a quad color scheme on it and it has the basic colors that a beginner would need. So if you are a beginner you would need browns. Try not to use color because you don't want to look like a clown. Just to have two mattes and two shimmers so that um, you learn how to work with shimmers and you learn how to work with mattes. Mattes are easier to work with than shimmers because shimmers go all over the eye. So don't wear your foundation before you do your eyeshadow if you're using shimmers. Big mistake. Okay, I'll be going in with the oh, this laptop. Like just giving me problems and I am charging it so I don't understand. Do you understand? Okay, I'll be going in with this transition um, shade right here. I just tap it off a bit. You know, you don't want to go too hard. You just have to continuously go back and build up upon it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that transitional shade color here. Okay. It's a really pretty brown right here, like under the bone. Can you see that bone right there that I'm poking now? I'm gonna poke the bone and then I'm gonna draw. Mm -hmm. Right? And then as I draw, I go down lightly. It's best to build up upon it because mm -hmm. one of the tricks I learned from Kylie Jenner is that she builds up upon her eyeshadows. So that's why they look more natural and more refined. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna just listen. I'm definitely gonna upload this video because I haven't uploaded in a while, and I just want you guys to see don't be holding it like a pencil, you want to hold it where you can have more control over it, whether your pinky is out or your pinky is in, and when you have control of it, it's lightly. So you're lightly sweeping it in motion that you just want to pat a little bit or we'll just, yes, brush that baby. And you just want to lightly go as dark as you can if you want to, or you can just like stop after one or two strokes, but I'm going to go a bit darker because I want to and I can. And I feel like it. I feel like it. The thing with this is not to press too hard. Just be gentle. Just be soft with yourself. Like, don't be so aggressive with your eye. It didn't do anything to you. We're gonna go in with the darker brown over here, right there. Can you see that? That brown bone right there. You're just gonna stop there and go down. All right. You can even do it in circular motions, like just mini circular motion. Gosh, guys, I hope you guys are doing okay. Hey, um, I've just been recovering. Uh, I'm exhausted. I'm so exhausted, guys. Guys, like my back is killing me. Like I've just been sitting like up, like in a position, like trying to, you know, get to my coursework right. And at the same time, my phone is here, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm in it. I'm in everything, really. One of my dreams to actually be, do a lot in life, um, help people ultimately. So, it's super important to me. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. It really does. So, if I'm diving into my work like so much, it's because. Yeah, that was my plan. Try not to go over the transitional shade because once you go over the transitional shade and there's no transitional shade, you have to go back with the transitional shade and go over that. That's work, baby. But we still gotta do that because <laughs> over here we love perfection. Fuyo mm -hmm. has very big jeans, man. I know. So it does rest. I've just been like relaxing my mind and body and just keeping to myself and just healing myself and rejuvenating myself and focusing on myself really um, 
on the things that I want, like fully focusing on it because yes, I've been dawdling, frolicking around the daisies for the past seven years of my life and <laughs> it's now or never for me and I'm not gonna let anybody, anything, stop me. And then once you're done with that outer corner part, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back with this concealer, guys, the Rimmel London Concealer in Golden Beige 105. She works really, really good. Okay, what are you gonna do? Just a little bit, right? Right there on the eyelid. What I love about this concealer is that it is, it is moisturizing, it's smooth to the touch. Velvety, it's beautiful, and um, it's in this cute little lipstick thing, so it's like an on the go type of thing. So you can take your hand if you want, your fingers, I meant, I mean, your whole hand. <laughs> yes. You can take your fingers if you want. If you don't have like a brush, if you're not trying to use a brush. Okay. And the trick here is not to blend it out all the way, the concealer. Don't blend out the concealer all the way. That's the trick here. You just want to like blend it out like in the middle. Stop right there. Okay? Stop right there. And then you just want to like pat it. Pat it at the end so that it looks like it's naturally supposed to be there. Because I used the brown shade way too much and I wanted to like make it a bit visible for the other team members to, to go on the team to play for the team. I'll be using the same brush I used for the transitional for the uh the, the brow bone and I'll be going in with this shimmer shade matte. Um did I just say matte? Oh my gosh you can tell I'm from South Africa you can tell should change it should change today change begins with you <laughs> okay I'm gonna tap it out mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go where I put that concealer can you see that shimmer this was literally the easiest um, tutorial ever can you see that shimmer right there don't worry about the transitional shade if your transitional shade doesn't show don't be afraid to go back on it because I did say we can go back on it for sure my love for makeup really started I mean I started being like super duper interested in stuff you know so my makeup my makeup passion comes from watching fashion TV wanting to be a Victoria's Secret model yeah I was always watching entertaining stuff like entertaining things whether it be music modeling makeup that was my jam. It's my thing. Okay. What I love about makeup is the fact that it can change your face in a heartbeat. Literally, can change your character, your look, your identity. Yo, I've seen makeup change someone's identity. Yo, once they took that off, they were like a different person, another human being. My shape is like that whole cat eye thing. So you think that my eye looks like. <laughs> But it's not. No, it's just. <laughs> I'm so silly. So how has my experience been um, getting back into social media? It's been fun because I get to do what I love to do. I love being creative. Um, I don't care what anybody says. It's my talent and I'm going to use it. I absolutely love being creative. It makes me feel so happy. It makes me feel alive and i literally wouldn't mind being creative without pay for the rest of my life that's how passionate i am if i could sit there with a, a high-tech laptop and and create videos and cinematography and movies and write books and open up businesses and help people like uh, i would do that for the rest of my life i need to get paid for it um I just love being creative. I love it. I do. I do. It makes me feel alive. Um, although I am book smart and you know, an academic and whatever, but then 
I'm on the creative side. I'm really more on the creative side. I think that makes me feel like I don't have to force things. I don't have to take things out of a textbook, do things according to a list. I'm one of those like rebels, honestly. Like I am. Um, I've been a rebel since a kid and I'm proud. I'm proud. I feel like if I wasn't creative, I'd probably just be like, I'd probably do like, I don't know, if I wasn't creative, if I, if I didn't have a passion, if I just saw it as a hobby, I would do it. I would do, um, damn, what the hell would I do, yo? I don't know what I would do if I was just, oh, academics, you know what I mean? Because I would do everything. I'm that type of person. I'm a jack of all trades. I... I don't believe in someone just being able to do one thing. I, you have to know how to do a lot of things, you know, to see what really tickles your buns, you know, what really sets your soul on fire. You can't just do one thing. Even though I understand some people, like, they stick to one thing and they're like, yeah, I'm good. But, mm -mm, not for me, girl. Like, you gotta be multifaceted, girl. You gotta be talented, girl. Like, don't be playing those games. What do you think this is? As a kid, I've always I always wanted to master things. That that's what attracted me the most. Like every time I saw something, I was like, oh my god, I want to learn how to do that. That's how I learned how to sing. I learned how to sing watching Destiny's Child, Maya, Aaliyah. I remember I had Aaliyah's album. Aaliyah, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Shaka Khan, um, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Teddy, Ted, sorry, Ooh. Luther Van Dross, like, guys, I would mimic these guys and listen to them over and over and over again, and that's how I learned how to sing, and by the time I, like, got it, like, oh my gosh, I can, I sound a bit like her, oh, that's when I was like, okay, how do I trick it, how do I fix it, toss it, turn it, mix it, kill it, and that's how I just, I stuck with it and then ever since then I kept doing singing you know what I mean sometimes when like in my spare time I'd like sing around what are you gonna do next take that same brush after you're done with this um, color over here this is gonna be our color on our lid is that shimmer can you see that shimmer baby can you see that shimmer I know you can and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this light, light pink. If you have a light pink, take it. Champagne pink, it's gorgeous. Anything. But make sure it matches with the actual eyeshadows that you're using. And you're gonna put that like right there. Okay. Right there in the in the corner of the eye. Dot. Uh, like that. And what else you're gonna do with this pink is you don't wanna press hard as well because it shows when it's um, overpacked on your eye, especially when someone comes up close to you and on the inner corner of your eyes. Okay. What you're gonna do with that pink again is you're gonna take it, dust it off a little bit more. And then you're gonna put that right here on your brow bone. This highlights your eye and then it instantly brings it up. And the fact that it's champagne pink is that it's not too wild, it's not too out there. So this is like the perfect color palette for a brown skin girl. Um, the perfect pink for a brown skin girl, especially if they wanna use a pink as a highlighter. Can you see how that highlighter instantly like Boom baps my eye right now. Like, who are you, little baby? Right? I didn't dust it off. Who am I? Okay. Once that is done, guys. Gorgeous. I love it. I love it. This is very, um, um, Bonang inspired, but it's, it's not. Um, glam glam but it's glam it's glam and love
So I'm just gonna use a powder all over my face, guys. And then I'll be back and I'm gonna do the liner and mascara, okay? Let go. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I did my cat eye over there. I'm in the mood of taking care of myself now. I feel like I, I haven't been taking care of myself at all, which is why I feel so drained because I've had to just absorb everybody else's energies. So this is the year I'm really, really going to pay attention to me and myself and just see how that helps me, you know. I've had so many like health problems, depression, anxiety, just stress, just everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning now to just be a little bit more soft on myself and hard on everybody else who's like over expecting me to cater to them. Um, I want to go back with that bronze because I made a mistake with the mascara guys. So this is the year I'm really going to focus on myself, like, I have to, I have to heal, because I can feel my body, I can feel like, yeah, I don't feel like myself, really, so, this year I'm going to focus on myself, my dreams, my goals, everything and anything that I want to do, I'm going to do it. I'm not even gonna hold back anymore. I'm not gonna wait for people. I'm gonna just do it. Um, I just feel like I need to take control of my life. I do. I need to take control of my life. Mm -mm. My mindset has changed 360 vibes. Like, I'm done. I'm really, really done. Um, you know, people pleasing. I feel like I was a people pleaser. Really. I was a people pleaser. And. It didn't work out in my favor because now I'm like sitting here like exhausted trying to get my life together. You know what I mean? So mm -mm. this year it's me myself. Uh, this year I'm taking myself seriously. This year, you know, anything that I want to go for, I'm going to go for it first. I want to put myself, my needs first before others. And I know it sounds selfish, but it's like I need it. I really really need it. I need it because I'm exhausted now. Nothing's now. That's what I want to do this year. Listen my burdens first and then I'm gonna give to you. This is the final eye look guys. You know what you're thinking like where's the foundation? It's coming. But this thing I'm not gonna put foundation because I told you guys my foundation's running out but my, I do have eye bags so I will put I want to go back with the Rumble London Golden Beige 105. It's brand new. I'm excited for the year. Like, I just want to do a lot. I want to do a lot that has to do with me and focusing on me and making sure that I'm good for my legacy and my future. I want to take control of my life. You know, like I don't want to have to like live, have people live vicariously through me. You know, like, no, 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 no. I made these plans when I was nine years old. So you could imagine, like, I made these plans when I was nine years old. And then it was a thing of, like, hmm, maybe, how can it work? Like, how will it work? You know, how will I own seven businesses and, you know, be a movie producer and, you know, be an author and do this and do that? You know, and then I think I revived that feeling again when I was in high school, I think. And I was like, oh my god, I have to. I have to. I cannot neglect my dream, you know. Neglect my dream because, you know, it's not fair on me. Being around age 40, not liking what I do. Because I've seen people like that, like where they're like sitting around and they're like, whoa, I hate my job, I hate my job. And it's like, yo, dude, like damn bro like time has passed like you can't even change courses at this point i don't want to wake up and not love what i do not love my life and just be miserable i just i don't like miserable people like misery likes company and yeah miserable people suck i just want people to raise their vibrations tap in and do what you love to do guys don't be following people that 
gave up on their dreams because it's pointless right i feel like the best advice that i've given myself is whoever is discouraging you look at them and see do they have the things that you would like to attain once you become who you want to be in life such as like say the things like black card or drive it like the latest bmw or like living like the biggest don't take advice from people that they don't have what you want to attain they don't have it so they don't know the feeling they don't know what it's like to work towards it so i tend to not take advice from people like that or even ask i'd rather ask from someone that i feel is gonna be like okay you where i want to be at, at some point in life i like that you know i want to get where, where'd you get that try not to listen to people that was one of my mistakes don't listen to people that don't have what you want later in life after you've done or you've achieved and everything because sometimes people just steer you down the wrong you know role because they just don't want you to succeed and yeah i'm not about that guys like thank you for this ted talk like kind of um that's one of my biggest mistakes is just listening to opinions and people and if you ask those people to do it they'll be like brain freeze right yeah so i'm just gonna rock my talents mm -hmm. and just do what i want to do do what i love to do it's literally the only way that i'll be happy take advice from people that have the life that you want to live so get yourself like a role model get yourself um someone that you can look up to that you know maybe you always wanted to have like that dream sports car mm -hmm. literally make that person your mentor and like ask them if you can if you can reach them ask them like yo like, what was your story like starting out like how did you do it and mm -hmm. that's the only way that you'll succeed in life like honestly and that's how i built that no k attitude when someone gives me their opinion i because it's just especially if it's not like it has nothing to do with what i'm doing you know what i mean like it doesn't really matter for me so i want to take this bronzy and i'm going to put it under my eyes guys right we're going to see what we're going to do after we put it under our eyes not that type of person i'm just not gonna listen to anyone that you know doesn't have the things that i want to attain like for me it's like a waste i'm so sorry guys does it sound weird it doesn't i guess i'm just like i don't know i believe in myself more than i believe in <sighs> words i guess words that i don't know where are they coming from? Are they coming from the heart? Are they coming from the birth? So, I believe in myself. It's best to believe in yourself before you do anything. Don't do anything if you don't believe in yourself. Like, no. I don't let people steer my plans away, you know? Because at the end of the day, it's like, are you gonna give me back those years? No. I guess not. I guess not. With mascara, I let it dry and then I put the second layer, then I let it dry and then I put the last layer. I know I should be using like baby powder, but we're not gonna take it that far. The Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. It's a bronze shimmer that goes around you know, my face and it shapes it and it makes it look bronzy and cute. I like using this instead of blush sometimes because blush I have no control over it. So it's finished, so yeah, I'm not gonna let you guys judge me in that. I refuse. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take my bronzer out and then I'm just gonna sweep it like. Right around my face. Just to shape it lightly. This is like. 
but I'm inspired. Easy look that you can try with the Avon Quad Palette in True Mocha. It's like a very simple natural glam. You truly don't need much really. But you can actually add like um, blush to this look to make it pop more if you want but can you see that I'm not going to tell you about like effect she always has that cat eye the darker at the ends and then that shimmer in the middle it's beautiful right gorgeous yeah. I did this hairstyle like really quickly because like I'm just losing hair god I'm losing hair and it's scary so yeah I'm losing hair because like my diet is not that great so you know my cheekbones with it as well sometimes I like using the eyeshadows especially the golds and the bronzes as like highlighters like that it's cute right I hope I look cute enough right now. Okay. This is the finished look. I guess I love that whole baby doll look. So I know it's very like 90s, but <laughs> it's my favorite. Black Opal Liquid Matte Lipstick. That color looks like the color that Kylie Jenner has in her makeup kit. That pumpkin spice, I think. I hope it's cute enough. And that is it, babies. That consists of the whole video. I hope this but my mama table inspired. That new makeup look looks gorgeous. I'm done, guys. I'm I'm done. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for following me. I see you guys on Instagram and TikTok. Oh my gosh, my fan base is growing. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me, especially like knowing that when I was younger, I was always told to shut up. But um, I'm gonna take that in stride now. I'm gonna walk that walk and talk that talk. So thank you guys so much for keeping up with me you guys are truly a blessing in my life do like share subscribe um share please subscribe to my content you can always hit that notification bell so you know that i'm posting comment down below description down below of the products that i used and that concludes the video guys thank you so much for joining me this is coco Bellamy. Signing out to you, honey. Bye. Um, so you've reached the end of the get ready with me slash tutorial slash catch up. Okay. And you are waiting for the announcement. I have officially partnered with Ritzy.com guys. This place you can literally write about anything, be your own author. Literally, I found this website that was a gem in my life. You don't have to pay for any subscriptions, it's absolutely free. You can write short stories, long stories, essays, articles. Um, you can even find work and actually be an affiliate on the actual website. It's called redsea.com. R E E D S Y. I'm so excited to be partnering with them in this whole entire video. And I know it has nothing to do with makeup, but it has something to do with your mind. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget Red Sea. I will put that right down below, right here. You can visit it. I've already set up my account, and I'm on chapter five. I'm actually writing my own book and I'm exploring being an author as well. I actually thought of writing my own experiences as I go, um, right from childhood right until now. RedSea.com, do sign up for it and write away. Thank you guys so much for watching and good night.
good morning wherever you are good afternoon bye bye guys